హలో ఎవ్రీబాడీ వెల్కమ్ టు శృతీస్ కిచెన్ టుడే లెట్ సీ హౌ టు మేక్ సొరకాయ తపలెట్లు ఇట్స్ అ ఆంధ్ర స్పెషల్ రెసిపీ అండ్ మై మామ్స్ రెసిపీ ఇట్స్ వన్ ఆఫ్ మై ఫేవరెట్ రెసిపీస్ దట్ మై మామ్ యూస్ టు మేక్ అండ్ ఇట్స్ మై చైల్డ్హుడ్ ఫేవరెట్ అండ్ ఐ హ్యావ్ బీన్ ఈటింగ్ దిస్ సిన్స్ ఐ వాజ్ అ చైల్డ్ అండ్ ఐ లవ్ ఇట్ అబ్సల్యూట్లీ లవ్ ఇట్ వెన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ సర్వ్డ్ విత్ సమ్ నైస్ ఫ్రెష్ క్రీమ్ ఆర్ మలాయి it tastes divine i also like to serve some dal along with this roti it's nothing but the bottle gourd or loki which we are going to mix uh, with some rice flour and some spices we are going to use a special technique to fry them that makes it taste different from other bread recipes it is very very yummy and i just cannot explain you how yummy it tastes you have to try this recipe so let me take you through the ingredients and start the recipe So for making this recipe we need a small bottle gourd or if you have a big one you can measure it out and use as much as you like this weighs 330 grams i'm going to use the skin if you want you can peel it but it tastes good even with the skin on so i like to keep the skin on for this recipe handful of curry leaves you can reduce them a bit if you are not a big fan of curry leaves but i love in this recipe a tablespoon of coconut shredded coconut is what i'm using i'm using the frozen one because i buy the fresh one and i like to cut in pieces and freeze it and use whenever required this is how i prefer you also need a small piece of onion which we are going to chop using the food processor eight green chilies i'm going to use a lot because i like my food to be nice and spicy this is how my family prefers and you also need handful of cilantro or coriander leaves and the main ingredient is of course rice flour 2 cups of it 3 tablespoons of chana dal soak in some water before that wash it really nice and good and soak in about half cup of water for 10 minutes or 15 minutes or while you are preparing the other ingredients you can start by soaking the dal salt to taste 2 teaspoons of cumin seeds you also need a uh, aluminum kadai with just about an inch of oil for frying the sorakai tapletlu let's start by grating the bottle gourd i'm going to use my food processor you can even do this manually if you want we'll run the processor and the last batch if you're using a processor it is very very easy So to the shredded loki I'm going to add in some salt here. Mix it really nice and good and keep this aside. This helps to squeeze out the water better from the bottle gourd. Similarly I'm also going to process the coconut, green chilies, cilantro, curry leaves and the cumin seeds. I'm also using onion in this recipe if you don't want to. you can omit it it still tastes good so onion goes in as well we'll run this until we get a coarse mixture not a paste just pulse it couple of times and this is how you want it nice and coarse squeeze out the water from the loki all the water so add the grated and squeezed out bottle gourd in a big container and we'll add in the rice flour soaked chana dal and the blended mixture mix really nice and good and make a tight dough out of it if needed you can add more salt check for the salt by tasting the dough I'm going to use just a bit of the squeezed out water from the bottle gourd to bind the dough together. You don't need all of it, just a bit of it just to bind the dough. So when you look into the dough, it looks like crumbly, but when you bind together like this, it comes together beautifully. This is how you want the dough to be. Otherwise, you will not be able to shape them into rotis. We'll now start shaping them into small dumplings like this and keep them aside. So while shaping them, you can even simultaneously heat up the oil. So we are going to shallow fry them. 
I have lightly greased this polythen paper, so I'm going to place the dumpling. I'm going to press it and shape into a small roti. If you want, you can shape a couple of these and keep them ready so that you can fry in a batch. Otherwise, you can shape them and fry them simultaneously. So I'm going to fry them. So you need to have the aluminium pan for this. And I got the oil which is going on medium heat. I'm going to stick it to the sides of the pan like that so that it stays in place and half of it should touch the oil surface. This is how you need to stick them onto the pan. It gives a very good flavor and different texture to this bread when you stick the bread to the pan. And I'm going to do the same thing with the remaining rotis as well. So make sure that you stick them properly. And I forgot to mention, I have put a hole at the center so that it will be easy for us while flipping them. Stick them properly and let them fry until you see nice golden color. I'm going to flip them all and let them get nice golden color on the other side as well. Don't let them go into the oil. We are not looking for deep fried tapilent loo. You want them to stay to the corner like that. That is when they taste good. Do not let them get golden all over. You need to see white spots and few golden spots as well. So they are looking great. I'm going to take them off from the pan. Make sure that you drain all the oil. So I have my tap lentil ready and I cannot wait to taste them. They are smelling great. And with this amount, you can make about 25 uh, tap lentil. If you don't have the aluminium pan, you can even simply fry them on the tawa. Just as if you're making some roti, you can do it the same way. They taste different that way. If you do it this way, they have a different texture. I like them this way better, but my husband prefers when I roast it on top of the tawa as if I'm making some rotis. So let me taste it. It is usually served with some dal and I love to have it with some cream as well. This is how I used to enjoy when I was a kid and I cannot wait. It is soft and it is slightly crispy. It is yummy. While frying, you need to make sure that you don't uh, make them very crispy, otherwise they don't taste good. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Do try it and let me know how it turned out for you. For more yummy recipes, get subscribed to Sruti's Kitchen. I'll be back soon with another great recipe for you. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.